Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and this is gonna be an interesting video. So 6 months back I repasted the Asian Pavilion Gaming 15 with the Ryzen 5 4600H CPU with the Thermal Grizzly Cryonauts Thermal Paste. It was my go-to thermal paste for laptops, however a lot of viewers commented that Cryonaut was not suitable for Ryzen mobile chips as Ryzen has a much higher throttling point which is 105 degrees centigrade and said that Cryonaut has a tendency to spill out. The alternative paste suggested to me by many is the Geely GC Extreme and we'll try that today. I never faced any spilling issues with the Cryonaut on my Helios 300 which I repasted 10 months back and it's still as good as new. And to be honest, I haven't had many issues with the Cryonaut on the Pavilion as well. Firstly, in games, I've had zero issues. It still keeps thermals well under control. However, under 100% 6 core 12 thread synthetic load in Cinebench R20, I do see a rise of about 5 to 6 degrees centigrade at the max. Do note we are still far from thermal throttling. And this is with automatic fans, which also try to remain as silent as possible. And look at the score, easily over 3300 points which is still insane from a 6 core CPU from 2020. We are also consistently pulling over 50 watts on the CPU and the very maximum temperature reached in Cinebench R20 that I have got is 92.5 degrees centigrade, which is honestly just fine. We are not thermal throttling and we are getting maximum performance. And here's one more run just for consistency. And still we get an insanely high score. Now let's move on to Cinemage R23 and first let's do a single loop run and again there's no thermal throttling. We get a score of 8662 which is just great. The maximum temperatures reached was 94 degrees centigrade. And lastly before changing thermal paste let's do a full 10 minute stress test to test for thermal throttling. And surprise surprise no thermal throttling and the maximum temperature reached is 97 degrees centigrade which we reached almost at the end of the 10 minute test. Now that's pretty high but remember this is a completely unrealistic test which is meant to absolutely stretch the thermal capacity of the laptop to its limits. Alright guys now let's change the paste.
All right, so the paste is changed. Laptop boots up fine. Let me do some cleaning and then we'll continue doing the same tests. Now guys, remember, different pastes have different properties like viscosity. So paste may not perform at its best right after applying. It may take hours or days of pressure and thermal stress to spread out and settle. So I'll drop a pinned comment regarding the temps update maybe a couple of weeks later. So in the first Cinemage R20 loop, we get a great score of 3368 and the maximum temperature reached was 91 degrees centigrade. And in the second loop, we achieve one of the highest scores ever, which is 3382. And the maximum temperatures reached was again 91 degrees centigrade. Now performance is excellent, but maybe you are expecting temperatures in the 85 to 80 degrees centigrade, but that's not the case here. However, performance is similar to Cryonaut. Now let's see how it holds up in the next few months. I'll keep updating you guys. Now moving on to Cinemage R23. On the single loop test, we get a brilliant score of 8745, almost 100 points higher than in the same test with Cryonaut. And the maximum temperatures reached was 91.9 degrees centigrade. And finally, in Cinemage R23, 10 minutes thermal stress test, we reached a maximum temperature of 94.3 degrees centigrade, which we reached at about the mid 7 minutes mark. And we do see a significant drop in temperatures in the last couple of minutes compared to the same test we did earlier with Cryonaut. And also the average temperatures are lower by 2 degrees centigrade. So I feel GDID Extreme did a better job in this test. But again, we need to see how it does in the coming months. So here's a summary of my results. Alright guys, that's it for this video. Hope you learned something. Please drop a like and hit the subscribe button. Take care and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.